Did you know that 80% of the population will have low back pain because of a disc bulge? And this is a huge number. Why most of us will have low back pain at least once or more than that in their lifetime. So in this video, I'm going to explain what is it, why it happens according to uh, the Western medicine, Chinese medicine, as well as from an emotional point of view. And later I will give you some tips or some solutions which you can do to prevent the pain as well as to reduce the pain if you already have it. Now let's dive in. Let's start with what is a disc bulge. It is also known as intervertebral disc prolapse or as a slipped disc. So here what happens is in between the vertebrae, you're going to have a disc. This disc is made of nucleus propulsus, basically is the uh, jelly-like structure in the middle and the annulus fibrosis, which contains the gel-like structure. And this disc bulge has the function of protecting against the shock, against the uh, movement of the spine, or it would protect uh, against the any sudden movement of the spine, right? So here what happens is that this fibrous uh, coat, right, in which surrounds the nucleus is going to degenerate, is going to weaken. This will lead to the uh, gel-like structure in the middle to protrude out, right? And if this is not treated at the beginning, this will uh, completely break, the fibrous coat will completely break, and then the nucleus fibrosis will come out. Now, what happens is because we have at the vertebra, then we have the nerve roots coming out, right? And uh, supplying the legs, supplying the different parts of the body. Now, if the um, gel-like structure protrudes out and touches the nerve, then it will create a nerve irritation which will lead to like radiating pain and uh, tingling sensation and all of that. Now, at the same time, what happens is because of this tear, there's going to be release of the inflammatory mediators, right? We have the um, interleukins, we have the cytokines and all this, which will cause the inflammation in the surrounding tissue, which will lead to pain. So this is basically the mechanism of why pain happens and what it actually is. Now, when it comes to diagnosis of the disc bulge, especially in the lumbar area, we have two major tests which we can do. That is called the sciatic nerve test and the femoral nerve test. So in the sciatic nerve, what we do is just do leg, straight leg raising and if you experience the pain at the back of the leg, it's considered as the sciatic nerve, right? That is the uh, radiating pain from the back to the whole leg, that is the sciatic nerve. If you feel the pain, that is a sign of a disc bulge. Now also, if you flex the foot or you bend the knee and the pain aggravates, that's also a positive sign for the sciatic test. Femoral nerve is going to be on the reverse. So lying down on your belly and then lift the leg. If you feel the uh, pain coming in the front of the thighs, that is a positive test for the femoral nerve. Other than that, we have the, uh, the scanning techniques like the MRI uh, and the CT scan and all of this, which you can do and it's recommended for you to know how much of the bulge is herniated and as well, uh, which location and all that is very important for the treatment. Now coming to the symptoms, most of the people will come with low back pain and maybe the pain will be radiating down to the legs. You might experience numbness, you might experience tingling sensation or like pricking sensation in different areas. As well, you might have weakness or the sensation of paralysis in your legs. The question comes now, why does this happen? And it's so common. Now, from most of the people I have encountered, they develop a disc bulge because of the improper posture or because they have done a sudden uh, movement or like they have lifted heavy weights in improper way, which caused the trauma to the back. Or it can be because of age-related uh, degeneration. The hydration of the disc is uh, going to be reduced as well as because of the wear and tear of the spine and the movement and everything 
can cause the degenerative changes in the spine. The most common is gonna, going to be like uh, the trauma, like doing something unexpected, and uh, as well as the posture, right, and lack of uh, exercise. These are the most common. But for you, you'll have to go in detail to find out what was the, the cause of your particular pain. In Chinese medicine, this bulge is similar to the arthritis, which I explained in my last video. If you're interested, you can go and watch it. So in uh, Chinese medicine, we considered uh, disc bulge as a blockage of qi or blood. And this can be because of either cold or can be because of the wind or the dampness. So here similarly is that if you have a cold blockage, the pain is going to be sudden and intense. If you have a wind blockage, the pain is going to be shifting, right? The back pain may be shifting, different locations, maybe uh, depending on your body. But the most common combinations uh, of blockage is going to be wind and cold and wind and dampness. So here in Chinese medicine, we use acupuncture. And acupuncture has shown incredible results when it comes to the back pain. Now let's see from an emotional perspective. If you see the disc, disc bulge is mostly caused by sudden pressure. Now we can take this pressure, pressure at an emotional level as well. Can be a mental pressure because of the different responsibilities we have, either because of the family, because of money, because of work, because of different uh, circumstances we are in. Low back also signifies a support, right? You have the root of the low back. And when we have pain in this area, it means that we have either materialistic or either uh, emotional insecurities. Either we feel like it's not enough and we always want more and more. And we go so much into the material things that Somewhere inside you feel an emptiness because you know the material things will never be enough and will never uh, bring you that long lasting happiness everyone is striving for. You might have these thoughts in the back of, the, of your head that you will not have enough later or that you will never succeed. These are maybe some thoughts you will have which emotionally will cause this. Now, if you have sciatica, which is the radiating pain from the low back to the toes, that signifies that you are bothered by financial issues or the finance, the money part in your life. Or you might be confused about the direction where you're going or about the responsibilities which you, you need to have, as well as you might be focusing more on others' happiness you know, to help other people, make them happy, but then you don't look at yourself. So this is very common if you see in pregnancy and then uh, after that, the pregnant woman will experience back pain. It can be like a completely life-changing experience, right? You don't know what is your responsibility. You feel confused. What am I to do now? Instead, maybe you were walking and you were successful there. Now you have to take care of the baby. This is uh, similar. Now, it can be with uh, any other uh, situation or circumstance that you're going through. At the same time, it can mean that you don't allow yourself to make any mistakes or you're feeling that you're living for other people. Now, coming to the most awaited part in this video is what can I do? Now, we'll start with the pain reduction. Mostly all the things which I'm going to say now will help in the pain reduction and as well, help in the long-term uh, reversal of the disc bulge. Now, starting with acupuncture. Acupuncture does wonders when it comes to reducing the pain and giving you relief and about the posture and everything else. So pain, how does acupuncture work, you're wondering. Acupuncture is shown that you will relieve release the natural opioids, right? These are painkillers in our, on our body. And as well, if you see from the Chinese medicine perspective, it will uh, de-block right, or unblock all the channels, right? For the qi to flow properly and to, for healing to happen. Some other therapies like physiotherapy are uh, amazing. And in physiother physiotherapy, we have like different exercises. Not at least the interferential therapy and then uh, tense therapy are working amazingly. 
Now we go for hydrotherapy. In hydrotherapy, we can do something called a scotch douche. Now this douche or scotch bath, scotch douche is the uh, similar uh, results will be there. In a scotch douche, what do we do is we apply hot water for a period of time and then we apply cold water for a short period of time. Right. Then a similar effect will be with alternative application. So alternate application of hot, cold, like hot and then cold. This can be in the forms of packs, of douches, of showers, of baths, whatever is comfortable for you. Not least, we can go for spinal baths. And kind of in the similar field is the mud therapy. So it's an application. In the mud therapy, apl application of hot mud to the area or full mud bath will definitely help. First is because of the pain reduction, the hot will reduce as well. Second is because of the chemical properties of the mud, which will again help the body in reducing the pain and healing, increasing the blood, then the endorphins and the uh, uh, collagen uh, healing will happen so much faster. And not at least we go for the diet. Now, because we have an inflammation happening, right? We will want to go for the anti-inflammatory diet and that we can include the vitamin D and uh, the omega-3, right? We have the antioxidants, the vitamin E and E, A and E. And basically we want to focus on a diet filled in the fruits and vegetables, a variety of them. This way, if you have a, a variety, you will be able to take all the nutrients and this variety will give you different antioxidants which will help your body. So research have shown that if you follow a Mediterranean diet, will definitely help to reduce the inflammation and as well the pain in your body. But at least we want to focus on the bone health by uh, focusing on the calcium and magnesium and well, let's not forget about the vitamin D because this will um, help in the bone density and prevent the degeneration of the bone on the long term. And finally, it comes to the yoga or the exercises. And this is such a big chapter and it definitely helps a lot. You know, we have different lumbar stretches, we have uh, different strengthening exercises. But regarding this, I will make a special video for the specific movements we can do to reduce the pain in my next video so if you have not subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for my next video on low back pain exercises until next time stay healthy and happy